Yo, what is going on? What is going on? I know it's been a while. It's been a very long time, actually. Um, more than a month, right? So, um, first of all, how everybody's doing? I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I um, want to come in here and have a conversation with you all about a consultation that I just had. And I mean, I'm not a fan. I've never even thought about ranking my uh, consultations but i just finished up a consultation and i'm gonna say that it was very very uh very powerful you know yo ellen what's going on evelyn what's going on i'm doing good how are you all doing how's everybody doing y'all on lunch y'all at work which i love to um so i titled this one uh what do you want the name of this, piece, this, this, this talk, this conversation that we're having right now is titled, What Do You Want? And that question, although it's, it's very short and straightforward, it's extremely, extremely uh, profound, impactful. So I'm, I'm, having a, I'm doing a consultation. I just finished doing a consultation uh, with a lady. She's 41 years old. Uh, she's about 5'6". She's 244, 56. Uh, her blood sugar at the time was uh, 240-ish, two something like that. And, um, and you know, I'm in the room with her. The uh, MA is also there, you know, taking notes. And we're talking. Uh, she's there about medications, you know, X, Y, Z. And, um, and so she was telling, uh, telling us that, you know, she's, she's tired, right? So this is her first time seeing me, but she's been in this area for a while. She knows about the clinic. Uh, she's friends with uh, one of the ladies who works there. And I've seen her, but not as a patient before. I've seen her like just, you know, what's up type thing. Um, so she finally decided to come in. And so she's talking about the medication. She's talking about, you know, everything she has going on. Uh, she, she's talking about, you know, how she feels like her, her health is, you know, getting out of her hand and getting out of control. And, um, and so she's asking questions about the, the medications that she's taking. Them. And I'm, ask, I'm answering her questions very straightforward ways. You know, she's wondering about metformin and the diarrhea. And I'm just like, you know, metformin is not meant to be taken on an empty stomach. That's why you're experiencing that. And she's like, oh, OK. Um, well, what about the blood pressure? Is there a better you know, medication? And I wanted to help her out. <laughs> I wanted to help her out. I want to cut to it because I, I could tell she wasn't really sure where to go with this. And so I asked her, what do you want? When I said that, the MA face became blank and her jaw kind of dropped. The lady is looking at me and she's like, not saying anything. I'm, my face is stone, cold, straightforward. And when I said that, you know, not to get all, but I felt it myself in my spirit because what do you want? What do you want? Not in a rude way, uh, not in a, a judgment way, but what do you want? So she sat there quiet for a good 10 seconds. She looked at the MA, the MA looked at me and I was like, you have to tell me what you want. Us talking about what you have going on it's fine and we can continue to do that but what do you want why are you here and she's like because i i i, I gain weight and i want to lose it you know um my diabetes is out of control i want to you know get it better i'm like all right cool how much weight you want to lose she says she wants to lose 60 pounds i was like oh, okay um no actually she said she was like uh, i want to lose um 60 pounds i know that's a lot but, you know, and I was like, look, I'm not here to judge you. I just need to know what you want as the, the practitioner, as the quote unquote coach guidance or whatever like that. In order for me to get you to where you want to go, you got to let me know where it is you want to go. And I see that so many times where uh, many of us are frustrated because we have not met our goals, but at the same time, we haven't even set goals for ourselves. We, have, we don't even have plans for ourselves, uh, but we feel this sense of frustration because of the lack of progress. But if I was to ask you, 
What are your plans? Many of us don't have them. I have a business coach. She's actually my cousin. Her name is Pam Booker. I was telling her about, uh, this is a while back, in the beginning, of, well, not even in the beginning of my, year, my business, but about the struggles and everything I was going through my business. And um, <laughs> she was like, well, let me see your business plan. My business what? <laughs> she was like, let me see your business plan. All right, come on, cuz. I ain't, I ain't got no business plan. I'm just going to make this thing happen. She was like, don't talk to me until you get a business plan. <laughs> and, um, and it's real because she can't help me get to where I want to go if I don't even know what I want and I don't even have a plan to get what I want. And if I don't have wh what I want in my mind, nor do I have a plan to get what I want in my mind, how do I expect someone else from the outside to put this whole thing together for me? And so I asked her, you know, what she wants. Finally, she came to, you know, uh, consciousness. And she was, she was like, you know, um, I think she said 30 pounds first, but she's like 60 pounds. And I know that's a lot. I'm like, I'm not here to judge you. You know, like you tell me with what you want. She also said she wanted to get her, her uh, blood sugar down. And she said, you know, if it, if I, if possible, I want to actually get off medications. And I was like, all right. And so I'm writing these things down. I'm nice with the pen, especially when it comes to people talking about their goals, because we need to see, we need to see these things. So I wrote down 60 pounds. I wrote down, uh, get off all medications. I wrote down reverse type two diabetes. Uh, what else she said? Oh, energy. And I wrote down, you know, increase energy. And so, um, I was like, all right. So I turned it around and I showed it to her. I was like, you see, 60 pounds, reverse type 2 diabetes, get off medications, and improve energy. And she was like, she's looking at it. She takes a deep breath. I was like, these are big goals. She was like, yeah. I was like, you think you can do it? She was like, I want to try. And I was like, well, I'll tell you what, that's not the way you should go into a fight. I understand why you're saying that. But I'm going to tell you, that's, you don't go into a fight with Goliath, you know, um, talking about, yeah. So anyways, so I show her this. Now I said, what are you willing to do? She was like, you know, that's the thing. I don't really know what to do. Um, you know, I tried the gym. I tried the diet. I tried this. I tried that. She starts listening to all these things. And then she starts talking about, you know, her lifestyle. And she starts talking about her work schedule and her kids and everything else she has going on and I get it we all have things going on and I know that seems like a the, the great eraser when we someone says something and we say somebody else says we all have these things going on I, I that's the great eraser right uh, but she's saying those things <clears throat> and I said yeah yeah okay that's that is a lot but um here's what uh, here's what we want to do so I came up with a uh, you know, I do this, I do this all the time. We have protocols. And so I told her, you know, this would be phase one of the protocol that I would like for you to get started. This is what I would recommend based on your goals and the things you say you want to do. So uh, before I can, before I could actually come up with the actual plan, I need to know what she was doing, right? So we need to identify the things that she was doing that was pushing her further away from her goals. So this lady, she was drinking massive amounts of juice. Um, and so I asked her and I asked her, I was like, all right, so you're drinking all this juice. Uh, do you think this is making your diabetes better or worse? So I asked her if she thinks the, the juice is making her diabetes better or worse. She was like, um, I think it would have to be making it worse, right? I was like, you tell me, what do you think? And she was like, it's making it worse. And I was like, all right. She's like, but, and there goes the but. Um, I get the one with the low sugar and everything like that. I was like, do you really think that that is much, that, that much better? She said, probably not. I was like, all right, cool. That's what you think. And I agree with you. But you, you acknowledge that you already kind of knew that, right? So we can both agree that you have been knowingly doing things that will push you further away from your goal. 
She said, I didn't put it like that, but yes, to answer your question. So <clears throat> I said, um, then we're going to have to decrease that juice to zero. She was like, zero? I was like, yeah, water. Uh, just, you know, water. I was like, um, the juice is not doing anything beneficial for you. Um, she drinks a little bit of soda. I was like, you know, these things are not actually improving your health whatsoever. They're not helping out the blood sugar. Uh, they're definitely not, it's definitely not helping out with the weight. So, you know, we're going to go to just water only. And she was like, can I just, you know, a little bit with water? And she started making up all these like mixtures and chemicals. And I was like, can you? I was like, yeah, you can. You can definitely do it. I was like, you can actually just drink the regular thing. She was like, I can. The way her eyes lit up is I get why that happened. But we needed to spread. We need to actually put light on that. She literally wanted to have her cake and eat it, too. When I told her, I said, yeah, you can definitely, you know, drink the juice. She was like, can I? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. But then I hold, held the paper and I was like, but these, these goals you want, the 60 pounds, I was like, it's not going to help you. Like the juice is not going to help you get to your goals. It is going to push you further away from your goals. But you can definitely do it. And she was, that's when she caught on to like, what's going on? She was like, I see, she's like, I see what's going on. I was like, you see, you have big goals and these goals are definitely possible. We've helped hundreds of people get to their goals bigger than what you have. Goals bigger than what you have. We've helped hundreds of people get off medications for diabetes, reverse diabetes, lose hundreds of pounds. Been doing this, but they put in the work. And so I asked you what you wanted. You finally told me what you wanted. And I asked you, are you willing to put in the work? You said yes. You see the work. Now you're kind of, eh, I don't really know if I want to do the work. So that's called having your cake and eating it too, where you just want the results to fall in your lap. That doesn't work. That doesn't happen in reality. And it is my opinion that this is what healthcare and just the medical system would like for you to believe is that you can have your cake and eat it too. Like literally, you can be diabetic, have cake, inject insulin and be fine. That is what they literally want you to believe. Now, that's why I ask, what does she want? Because if she's someone who is fine with the medications, okay, cool, fine with the medications, but I can't help you. I'll be wasting my talents, which is getting people off of the medications, reversing type 2 diabetes. Like if you just want to be on medications and have somebody manage those medications, there are millions of practitioners out there that can do that. But I'm not the guy for you. Um, and so if that is what she wants, which is those things I just talked to you about, I laid out a plan of action that she needed to do to get the, to get the results. She fumbled and stumbled through them, but we finally got to the point where she was like, I have to actually do it. Like, I have to actually be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I was like, yeah, like that's, that's it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy. Nah, it's not easy. It takes work. But that comfort, that, that zone of comfort and convenience, you can do that. But understand that when you do that, you're going to continue to get the same thing you've been getting. And it's going to get worse in the case of diabetes and blood pressure and obesity. But also what you need to understand is that this this road, this journey to health is a very harsh, not harsh. It's, it is it is it is work. It's, it is work. But on that other line of you not doing the work and just being comfortable and uh, in, enjoying pleasures of this world. You got to understand that there are a whole system of people and systems in general of vultures that are more than willing to take advantage of you. They'll take advantage of you in a very subtle way, in a very seductive way or a very harsh way. But they are more than willing to uh, take advantage of your lack of knowledge or your lack of uh, will to improve your overall health. That's for the large part is what, what we call the healthcare system. That's what they've become. They've become, for the most part, not everything, but for the most part, with this whole diabetes management, this whole blood pressure management, this whole cholesterol management, like all this management crap, that is a, a system of parasites sucking off of people who are unaware that they can actually improve their health in a natural way without using medications. They can improve their health by eating healthy. They can improve their health by staying away from the very foods uh, that has been approved by the FDA that is actually making them sick 
which will now turn around and approve the medication that they will give to you because you're sick, because you ate the food that they approve. You, you get what I'm saying? So that, that is the point of what I am getting to in this video. How many of you have actually asked yourself what you want? I mean, I'm specifically talking about health, but really just in general, life in general. Like, what do you want? Have you set up a plan for yourself? Because once again, if you don't plan for yourself, them folks got plans for you. Those folks have plans for you. Trust me. Trust me. The, the American Diabetic Association, the American uh, Heart Association, like all them folks, the, they have so many plans for you. And that is to get you on your medications, see you every three months, refill the medications, allow the disease to progress, increase your medications, add on another medication, do a uh, diagnostic test to see just how sick you have gotten over the past three years. Now do a procedure because of the, 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 the disease that you have while taking medications has progressed and now a procedure needs to take place. Like they will, uh, they will gladly take advantage of all of that. And that's what they've been doing. That's what they have been doing for the past, I don't know how long, but you will always have a class and culture of people and systems that will take advantage of those who lack the knowledge or just straight up not willing to put in the work. What I'm saying for you all is I would love for none of you all to fall into that category. I don't want anyone to fall into that category, but that's unrealistic. We live in the real world. In the real world, people get taken advantage of all the time. When we talk about the system, they just do it in a very subtle and sophisticated way. People with white coats, stethoscopes, degrees, medication, big words, big uh, diagnostic procedures. You, you, they got to know what they're doing, right? Wrong. Wrong. So ask yourself, what do you want? What do you want? Jot, write those things down. We gotta, you got to write those things down, man. I mean, I'm guilty. I used to write things down. Now I use my computer um, and my phone. Uh, but I would definitely say get back to writing things down. Get, write it down. Look at it. Keep it in your pocket. Fold it up. But write it down. I don't, and don't worry about being... If you are starting to write down your goal of wanting to lose 60 pounds and you feel uncomfortable writing it down, that's great. Great. Don't you... Start to write the 60 pounds and think about what everybody else would say. They would be like, yeah, that's crazy. You can't do that. Like, this is not about them. This is about you. You initially said you want to lose 60 pounds and you feel uncomfortable writing it down. Don't you get scared to the point where you don't write it down. Write it down. The reason you're afraid is because you know subconsciously that that takes work. I got to be willing to put in 60 pounds of work to get that result. And so you're telling yourself, that you're about to make commitment to do work that will get you the results of 60 pounds. And a lot of us, once again, we don't want to do that work. And if you don't want to do the work, that is completely fine. You just have to be okay with the consequences of not doing the work. And you have to be okay with the abuse that will take place on the other side. Now, once again, some people will call it a benefit, but that abuse will be seductive and it will be subtle. It'll be done a lot of times in a very nice way. Some people may not live in a community where uh, their abuse won't be as nice. It'll be very abrupt and aggressive abuse. Uh, but for a lot of people, you got good insurance. You get nice abuse. You get nice abuse. You get your, your abuse gets uh, decorations and a ribbon on it before they do what they do to you. Uh, if you don't have insurance, you get that aggressive, straight up, raw abuse. So um, what do you want? And are you willing to do the work? Now, once you write down what you want and you come up with a plan as far as, uh, or you come up with things that can help you out and you look at those things and you start to shake your head like, nah, I'm, I'm not trying to cut out all juice. Well, here's the thing you should ask yourself. Once again, judgment-free zone. I'm not judging you. But if you are telling yourself, I know that this juice is making my health worse, it's increasing my blood sugar, I know that it's increasing my weight, but yet and still, I am not willing to cut it out. You are putting the value of the juice right here and you're putting the value of your life and your health down here somewhere. As long as you're okay 
with acknowledging that, then you can not do the work and you can just continue to drink the juice. But understand, you already said, you know what comes with drinking the juice. Therefore, you are inviting that weight gain and you are inviting that blood sugar uh, increase to happen. So when it starts happening, all I ask, all I ask, it's a judgment-free zone. This is your life. You can do what you want to do. But all I ask is that when that, when those natural consequences start taking place, don't f f wave your hand in the air crying about the blood sugar being high and help me, help me. Like, nah, come on. Like, let's be adults about this. You, you knew what you were getting into with the juice. Like, you knew what you were getting into. You, you knew the consequences. So let's just be adults with the whole thing. If you're going to rock out with the juice and the soda and all the, 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 the processed foods, then rock out with them and be okay with the consequences. And the same thing on the other side. It goes both ways. So um, once again, once you see the work, make, ask yourself, are you willing to do the work? Uh, if you, are you willing to cut out the things? Are, ultimately, the question comes down to, are you worth it? Are you worth cutting out soda from your life if it's going to improve your life? You know, we, we talk about um, uh, things that we, that, we, we, that we should have and that we should get and that should happen for us. And when we talk about things like that, uh, that usually comes with a, a level of uh, like value. Like certain things should happen based on a value. But when it comes to uh, this whole health thing, if you truly value yourself at a level, then you need to now make your work ethic get to that level as well. This means <laughs> I want to sit on the couch and just watch this football game. But um, I did tell myself that I would walk around the block five times all right who we, which one we value in more we value in this football game or are we going to value this walk which will improve our health who gonna win who gonna win so we just gotta be real man like I, i'm not i'm not here for the you know the fluff because once again yo with the black community yo we don't we don't have no one has that luxury but we specifically don't have that luxury i'll be pre presenting some uh stats to us because now i have an updated list of stats a lot of stats I was using uh, for our community were really uh, based on 2017, 2018. Now I have um, my research team updating the stats to 2020. And so I'm already seeing them. Uh, you know, they're not pleasing at all. But I don't want us all to be in the middle of a crisis, which we have been for, for a very long time, and be asleep. So I'll talk about that later. Um, but that, that's pretty much all I need to say. Ask yourself, what do you want? What are you willing to do to get what you want? And this is a judgment-free zone. Don't, if that's what you want, then that's what you want. If you're not willing to do the work, then you're not willing to do the work. You're not going to get the results. And just be fine with it. Just be fine with it. All right? No shaming, no wagging the finger. Just be, just be fine with it. All right? So I appreciate you all. Um, I want to read the comments. But um, I'm pretty sure this patient's ready for me to get back in there, okay? Not that patient. It's a new patient. I don't have patience to wait. But um, so I'll come back on, read the comments. Um, but also we have, uh, yesterday was the first day we started the uh, PAX on Deck sale. Uh, PAX on Deck sale is where you can save 30% on three bottles of all of our supplements, all of our bags of tea. Um, we're only doing it for a couple of days, so make sure you check it out. The link is in the description. And um, I'll get back on here later on talk to y'all all right so i gotta go love y'all remember this is our community it is our responsibility we have what it takes we just gotta put in the work if we are worth it and i say hell yes we are worth it all right love y'all peace